comedians opening cards, no coffee. Come on, let's enter the temple. It's right up here. Come on in. <laughs> Cards, no coffee. We're at Empire Comedy Club uh, once again in Portland, Maine on a Thursday, and I got two comedians right now. Two. Count them. Two. Oh, the drinks. We said uh, count them at the same time. That's a cat? Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, cheetah. Yeah. Cougar. Uh, Tab lion. Tabby. Ooh. Cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, pets? Yeah. I don't know if this is entirely true, but. A long time ago, I saw a little uh, film when I was a kid, and they were showing the, I think it was the Yanomami, who live, they make the, they, like, like they make their own, uh, to sleep in, the thing that goes Hammocks? between the trees. Yes. So, they would hunt, sorry about this story, they would hunt, and then it would be like, um, oh, they killed the, like, mom, whatever it was. So, they had young people, they would bring back the baby animal that still was alive and the kids would then that would become their pet and i really think that's how pets started but you know i did just watch planet of the apes and that feels true they kept it yeah mm -hmm. the original they were like let's take you from mom right okay did i ask you guys your names yeah sunny oh sunny. Dude, i don't know if i said it though yeah. right awesome and uh how long have you uh been doing comedy uh, I think stand up specifically probably since like September. Of oh, did you do improv? Mostly, yeah. Oh, awesome. Oh, well, theater background, background that makes a lot of sense. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're singing the other night and stuff, when that was pretty, or somewhere I saw that with the yeah. movements and stuff, that was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, and how long have you been doing comedy? Um, I did comedy for three years before the pandemic and took a long break, and now I've been back at it for like three months. Awesome. So, we got a lot of car, a lot of preamble. We got a lot of cards from me, not you. Oh, right, the Hunger Games. I already know what Hunger Games, right? I fucking love the Hunger Games. Oh, wow. That's been, a Hunger Games has been open two or three times. I've never, I might have watched a little bit of one of the movies. I haven't read them. Yeah, yeah, yeah awesome. go ahead. I think I'm going to go with uh, Civil War Part 7. Ooh, only yeah. been open one time. Oh, okay. By, oddly, an improv group in Manchester, New Hampshire. There we go. Yeah. Yes, yeah. called Queen City Improv. Okay, so what do you got? I got a lot of Katniss Everdeen, and I was really hoping that I was going to get the super fancy lady with all the big pink ruffly hairs, but... Do you know her name? No. I can't super remember it right lady. now. Okay. I know. Oh, uh, Katniss, so and what did you say before? Uh, Hamish. No, it was Lynx. No, what was the thing? Hmm? When you say the same thing at the same time? Jinx. Jinx! Jinx. Oh, is. maybe Lynx, Lynx is the is cat, cat, not the Lynx. Jinx. Well, so there she is Damn right it. there, really, really small. Ooh. She's my favorite character. <laughs> oh wow! Let's see if her name is on here. What does she do that makes no, you her, makes her your favorite character? Because she's just so fancy and so all over the place. I just oh. think she's so funny. Wow, she's she fun travels person. a lot. Oh yes, I'm sure. Oh yeah, she does on the train to all the different districts to oh. take children from their families. So she is all over the place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna give you that. One and what is this? What does so this face exactly mean? What do do you we mean? know? The mafia? What is, yeah, what is that thing that seems... It's not like the yeah. symbols are on the cards, it's too. It's a symbol for the rebellion. Oh. Yeah, it's a symbol as a rebellion. People start carving it into trees to show that they're ready to fight back against uh, against the, the district, the mm. big district person. What is, is it? I don't know. Is Jay in the movie? No, 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 no. It's um, the, the capital. What mm. the oh, capital. Ah, uh, awesome. Heck yeah. Yeah. I'm going to sign this one for you because oh. it's my favorite. Very cool. Yay. Awesome talk. And how do you like the com? Well, you're just getting back into it. Yeah. How do you like the comedy scene in uh, Portland? It is so lovely. It's so nice to see everybody that I used to sure. do comedy with, mm. and it is also so nice right. to meet new people. Like awesome, you. Sunny. Oh, and you drew a sun. I drew a sun. Every once in a while, we get. Oh yeah, you got the freaking uh, plans there. Super cool, and you can keep the others episodes on. Thank you, and here's your awesome. Sharpie back. Super duper. Heck yeah, this so is fun. fun. And what do you got? Stand up. I uh, saw so Civil War calling. <laughs> Civil War trading deck, uh, right. pretty pretty heavy, pretty heavy for um, for trading cards. Do you need help holding them then? No, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, this is just like a bugle call. There's lots of facts on the back of it, so it's a pretty involved toy. I guess oh. there's a whole textbook on the back of it. Too. Wow. So you can collect if you wanted to. Um, 
for example, if you had the Battle of Key Ridge, which I had no idea what it was. But oh, I don't even know if we can show that symbol yeah, with a flag I hope, thing. I hope not. Yeah, there we go. I mean, and then again, those yes. Duke boys would love it yeah. though. Oh yeah, it gets pretty heavy just right off the jump. I mean, the Civil War already wasn't really a great time for everybody, but I mean, mm. if you ever wanted a trading card uh, that forever immortalized slavery. Um, oh wow. There we go. Um, wow. So yeah, you know, I feel like there's a lot of responsibility that I have um, to talk about this card, but I'm clearly not the voice of that. Um, but um, you know it's, what? I'm glad. Um, you know what? I'm glad about nothing. <laughs> a lot of times, the old like mm, mm -hmm. uh, slavery memorabilia and things that might be derogatory towards uh, yeah people of color. Um, are collected by people of color. Yeah. But on eBay now, it's hard to, they like kind of don't let you even sell them, even though a lot of the people who wanted it yeah. should have the stuff. This is like a card that you would like, like you would, like if your friends were over, you'd be like, you want to see my dad's secret collection? And mm. it's like, oh, Jesus. Well, there was I a guy, <laughs> I mean, this is so dark, but there was a guy who, because they used to make postcards, they're like, it's called real photo postcards, where they would take a real photo of stuff, and you can get them of all kinds of different things. Mm -hmm. They did them of, lynchings uh -huh. and they would only be in the different communities and then so there's there was some guy who would travel around not a racist person and then try to find those different things to document all that stuff from so, yeah yeah definitely important to document as heavy as it is um uh yeah because it happened right exactly happened. this is proof it happened so right what happened people it could happen again i hope it doesn't uh but <laughs> So this is just a bunch of the dead body. Um, oh wow! A dead body on it, and it's called a message. I guess there's a poem on the back of it, but um, I'd rather just look at a dead body. Uh, but so that's a fun what thing. What we all? Yeah, that's a yeah. Fun thing. And then there's just maps. How, have you seen dead bodies? No. Yes. Yes. I have. Yeah. Wow, a bunch or? No, only a few. Yeah, yeah. I've only seen a few. Yeah. So yeah, they, they know about. Yeah. Um, okay. Awesome. Yeah, and then just more map cards about, you know, the battle of the uh, Bryce's Crossroads. We will ride right over them. And it says, all of them died. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> wow. Just now, here's the part where you, where you cue the Ashokan Farewell by uh, um, God, who's the guy? Ken Burns' Civil War. Oh, yeah. yeah well, we'll take still photos and then just move it slowly. Which one are you going to sign? Oh, which one am I going to sign? Um, I not, think I know which not one. Not this one. You're not going to yeah, act out the whole war? Not the one. one. No, thank you. I think I'll just sign, sign the subset divider card, the one that explains the whole deck. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, i got to catch them all. Oh, no, God. Pokemon. You want that one, you want that uh -huh. one for yourself, oh, that absolutely. other card. Yeah. All righty. Here we go. Yeah, and there's like a weird map and stuff too that like folds oh, out. Smart. Awesome. Oh, subset divider well, thank card. you so you're much. Very, very welcome. Thank hey. Cozy, what is it called? Oh, stand up comedy. Comedians open cards! Okay, Thank thanks, so Dave. Much. I'm going to be booing you from the back. It's going to be a good time. Give it up for your first comic, David Bacon, everybody. Hey, good to see you Whoops. There's like a... What is it with the mics? Like, no one wants to sign it first, I guess? I don't know. Who cares? Um, uh, yeah, I was going to comment on that, but I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, hey, uh, when I was younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted, but now it gives me a lot of street cred. Oh, you need time in prison? Big deal. I get five months. So, <laughs> I get five months solitaire, hanging in the crib, just hitting the bottle multiple times a day. Plus, later I could uh, titty fuck my new mom. I know, we, I know we don't know each other, but this feels like a safe space. It's not that it's hip or cool to be trans. I want to admit something to all of you. For years I've been flating Mary Jane. And then I'm 
Because it had it all. Is it still obvious? You never flees. You get it, so feed that. Just must suck. Uh, it leads into this. They say pot is legal now in like 24 states. I don't believe it. Because I don't see anyone anywhere playing any hacky sack. What happened? They used to need a bat signal for smoking a bone back in the day. You know, the river dance sports. Oh, and I think, uh, I don't remember the doctor's name, but uh, I heard he does a lot of like uh, pedophile jokes or something. I, I haven't heard him do that, so this, this one is really bad and it's for him. I will not go get a manicure or a pedicure. I probably shouldn't have like preambled with that because the place is just filled with pedophiles. At least I think that's what they call the file I use. Just pet feet. I like it. <laughs> I wrote this in the car. I'm sure you're all familiar, this crowd might actually know this one. I'm sure you're all familiar with Andrew Dice Clay's famous nursery rhymes. Does this crowd know those fuckers? The last one did not know them at all. Yeah, that's what big comedy wants. So that's what big comedy gets. It's part of the whole miscommunication agenda. Perhaps you're familiar with it, with the organization, Ma. Okay. Anyway, they've been suppressing the second verses of nursery rhymes. See, take Jack and his floozy Jill. Just, I want that F word there, but just. But she tumbles, so maybe it should be a T, I don't know. So, whatever, all over him. I put fumbling, but... Is he a king, or uh, did he hurt his head? You know, if there's crown, it could be the head or it's the thing. So you're, you're left with, like, a conundrum as a child. You're, you, you get that as a young kid, and it's like, fuck, you know, that messes with you. And uh, I believe that's the uh, cause of all our anxiety, is those. We don't get the second verse, so I'm going to tell it to you. Because it, it's not only going to help, because it gives you the ending of the story, but also there's going to be like medical advice in it to fucking cure your broken head, which we find out it's a head. He's not king, even though all men are kings. In jail, fucking tumbling, following. That tells you what, girls, they're around. Uh, so here's that fucking ending. Uh, up Jack got, and home did trot, and this is real. And home did trot as fast as he could caper to old, and check out this word, to old Dame Daw, who patched his knob. I mean, what's going on, Nickelodeon? With vinegar and brown paper. So they fucking, now they know they're okay, they're living. He did hurt his head, but vinegar, it's a freaking uh, acidic acid, so it gets, doctor probably knows this, uh, yeah. Uh, acidic acid, it, it uh, uh, chews up bacteria and yeast and freaking scabs. So, that's fucking, you know. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you know, it doesn't, I don't need reaction. I just need to freaking be comfortable up here with no reaction. And I'm getting that. I got the light. I can't believe that was three minutes. I have to be done. Three or four. Yeah, so, that's good. Thank you very much. Woo! Woo!